Where are we now? We've done a lot of analysis. We've set up the networks. We've looked at back propagation. We've actually done quite a bit. And the question is, where are we going next? So let's look at the where are we now in a little more detail. Look at the list. That's pretty amazing in the short time we've encountered this work. We've created simple multi-layer networks. We've examined different activation functions. We've looked at weight updates using gradient descent. We've emphasized the geometric utilization and intuition for the gradient. We showed how to do back propagation to obtain the gradient. We explained the role of automatic differentiation. And we looked at different loss functions using entropy and softmax and demonstrated the importance of regularization. So what is next? Gradient, gradient, gradient. The gradient is used to update the weights. So we have to see well, how we can optimize that, what are the parameters involved, because the gradient determines the learning in this paradigm of using gradient descent to find the minimum of the loss function, and through that, we get the best value of the weights for our network. So in the next slides that follow, we're going to look at a review of gradient as we have developed it. We're going to then look at stochastic gradient descent which involves how do we use all the data to train the network to get the best set of weights. So far, we've only considered one single training input. And the next item we're going to look in part three of this analysis of gradients is what controls the gradient descent. So we know some of them already, but we'll have a lot more, probably four or five different parameters that have to be set to control the gradient descent, the learning rate, the optimality of our algorithm to find the best weights.